This video poster presents a book about Austral Asian tectites, it contains 42 chapters, as well as a dictionary and a reference list. After watching each video poster, you can download relevant chapters for detailed readings using the link in the description below. The ash found in the Ban the Chong pit is mixed with clay and gravel, but still also remain in unmixed lumps with a distinct gray color, separating it from the brow reddish color of the remaining sediments. Some of it formed accretions, similar to accretionary lapilli, here with two layers, an inner nucleus and an outer shell. On the outside larger quartz grains with special features were attached. Apart from comminuted quartz grains in the very fine silt to clay fraction, the ash also contains minotectites. Most quartz grains are without metal oxide coating, giving the sediment the gray color. The ash also contains small balls of iron, with very small quartz grains included, sulfur and tiny pieces of carbonized wood. A number of minotectites were found. They are not spalls as they have no sharp edges. Gypsum in the accretion, formed after evaporation of water. The formation of the accretion may have been similar to accretionary lapilli from volcanoes, where water and here dissolved gypsum, provided the binding. Glass shards were also found. They have slight greenish coloring and could be from tectites. The fine-grained comminuted quartz is also present in the Yasathan soil, but not in Mekong River sediments. This fine-grained comminuted quartz can be used as a tracer in the Korat Plateau, as it is attached to the surfaces of tectites from Ban the Chang, Dalat, Khan Tum, Muong Nong, Vientian, and is found in Yasathan soils as well as iron concretions. The larger quartz grains attached to the outside of the accretion show distinct features from bombardment, like shock waves and impact grain remnants. And from quenching, forming palisade quartz, around impact grains, and matrix cracking.